Hi, and welcome to Epic Restorations. Today, we're going to spotlight the 1930 Ford Model A and uncover just what makes it unique and what makes it stand out from all the rest. The Ford Model A was produced from December of 1927 through March of 1932. Most people generally lump Model A's into two groups the 1928-29 Model A's, and the 1930-31 Model A's. Truth be told, it's a little more complicated than that. During the earliest days of the Model A, parts were often changing month to month and week by week, as Ford engineers worked out design improvements and as production figured out better methods of manufacturing. On the assembly line, as the Model A evolved, Ford often used Model A parts until they ran out, so changes happened mid-cycle throughout production, meaning there can be differences between cars within the same model year. In this video, we'll dive into the most recognizable, unique features of the 1930 Ford Model A and find out just what makes this model year different from all the rest. First up, and beginning at the front of the car, is the front bumper. The front bumper of a 1930 has three oval bumper clamps, with the center clamp being a bit smaller than the other two outer clamps. The bumper itself has gently curved bumper ends rather than the reverse bend at the ends of most 28-29 cars. Or the open end bumpers of some of the very early 1928 cars. Moving behind the bumper and back to the wheels, 1930 Ford Model A's had 19 inch wheels and four and three quarter inch wide tires with larger hubcaps whereas the 1928-29 wheels were 31 inches at 4.5 inch wide tires with smaller hubcaps. Unlike the Lady in Red here, Ford Model A's all came from the factory with black tires. It wasn't until 1934 that Ford made white wall tires available as an option. Moving up the front of the car, a 1930 Model A has two cup-shaped headlights with two light lenses. The headlights are stainless steel and are more rounded in the back than the 1928-29 ones. The two light, like its namesake, had two types of bulbs. The upper bulb pointed downward to illuminate the area closer to the car, and the lower bulb provided illumination out and into the distance in front of the car. The earlier 2829 headlight bar was straight between the headlights, whereas the 1930-31 headlight bar has a slight upward bow to it. Behind the headlights is the radiator and radiator shell. 1930 through 31 radiators and shells were taller than the 1928-29 ones and were made of stainless steel. The 1930 Ford Model A radiator shell is unique to only this model year and has an easily identifiable smooth top section. The 
Next up is the gas tank and cowl section. 1928-29 Model A's had a curved cowl. While the 1930-31 Model A's had a more linear contour. The gas tank of a 1930 holds about 11 gallons of gas. Moving underneath the hood is the firewall. The 1930 Ford Model A firewall was seamless with no dates stamped into it. Whereas the 1928-29 bodies had a two-piece firewall with a horizontal seam and in some documented cases a date of assembly may have been stamped on the driver's side above the seam. Moving past the front wheels, the 1930 Ford Model A started production with two-piece splash shape rims. From its introduction in the 1930 model through September of 1930, a two-piece splash apron was used. The front portion was spot welded to the fender and the remaining portion was an integral part of the running board. The transition to the 1931 one-piece splash apron occurred around September of 1930, making the splash apron one of the possible clues differentiating the early 1930 Model A's from the late 1930 Model A's. Rounding out the exterior and moving to the back end of the Model A, the late 1929 through 1931 tail light had a teacup design and was made of stamped steel and bolted to the rear fender on the driver's side. The 1928 through early 1929 taillight was a bit different, being shaped like a tuna can and being referred to as a drum light. And the bracket was forged steel and bolted to the bottom of the body on the driver's side. Moving inside of the car, 1929 through 1931 Model A's had black steering wheels. while 1928 through February of 1929 Model A's had red steering wheels. Early 30 Ford Model A's had a diamond-shaped, smooth-faced instrument panel with an oval speedometer and a light at the center. And starting around June of 1930, through the end of production, an oval instrument panel with horizontal ribs and a round speedometer was used. The dash light was moved above the panel, just under the dash rail. While the features discussed today are among the most recognizable differences that make a 1930 Ford Model A different from the others, this list may be incomplete. With nearly a century separating us today from the very early Model A's in 1927 through the running changes that were made throughout its production, the best resource to truly investigate the unique aspects of your car is the official Model A restoration guidelines and judging standards. Regardless, the 1930 Ford Model A is a true classic car gem that's left an indelible mark on automotive history. 
its durability, charm, and historical significance have cemented its place as an iconic symbol of American ingenuity and innovation. Over the course of the next few months, we'll examine the 1928, 1929, and 1931 Ford Model A's and share via the power of video what makes each of those model years unique and special. And join us next time as we bring you more tips and information on how to maintain and enjoy your Ford Model A on the next Car and Driver episode of Epic Restoration.